Well, guys, here we are sitting red. It said it would happen. I, I was just saying yesterday, I was like, red days are coming. Lo and behold, today is going to be a red day. Now, it's not a major red day. Um, it could have been a lot worse, and I've had it be a lot worse many times over. I'm actually shutting down exactly at my max loss of 750. So I really don't even need to be that frustrated today. Now I am. I'm disappointed. Uh, but I'm not going to be depressed the whole day, at least not as much as I would be, say I lost five grand, or say I lost eight grand, or 10 grand, 12 grand, 15 grand, because I've done it. I have done that before. So in reality, a max loss here of 750 or stopping at my max loss of 750, not a big deal. Uh, it's um, I could have shut down earlier because I knew today was likely, and I thought that yesterday, but I was like, okay, for sure today is most likely not going to be good. Now, I thought at least I could squeeze out $500, and I had at one point $400 to $500, maybe a little under that. It wasn't an easy day, but I was able to scrape something together, and it only really went south when I jumped onto KSCP. KSCP has been treating me well the past few days, and I've made good money on it. I can't complain. I've made I've made a little over ten grand on it in the past three days, or this this week on it. So losing seven fifty off the top is not. A major it, it smoked me a little bit today but it part of that was to do with uh, a lot to do with how it traded today but also i wasn't holding i got nervous i jumped out i jumped back in i, I got sloppy i'd buy high with big share size and then i'd i'd instantly lose on the spreads as it gave a 10 cent uh pullback essentially just like a quick dip because the spreads were wide on KSCP and even wider today because the volume was even lower than usual. So I was really trying to, I was pushing it on KSC, KSCP, really trying to milk it. Now, had I held for the trades that I saw and held through all the chop, I would have be green. And I what I was seeing on the screen eventually came to be, it just came to be in a much choppier fashion than what I'm used to. Say So for example... This was not the first stock I traded today, but the one that screwed me over the most. Um, I started to see this wedge here. Uh, I got in uh, about right in here in this area, and I was immediately up two, three hundred bucks. I was like, okay, I'm in the green. This is good. This will break this pivot here at eight ninety six, and then break nine. I'll mark it out on the break of nine. I had forty five hundred shares. I was like, that'll be a quick like eight hundred dollar win. Turns out, this is what happens. It goes green on this candle right here, and then it, it pops a little bit here, and then just flushes down. Like, look at that. From from 94-ish to 75, just, and it was like an instant, just like, just like, boom. I'm like, oh, shite. So I mark it out, 4,500 shares or whatever I had, and that brought me to minus four, $500 on this stock. It was like, oh. And it, it was pretty quick, too, because I had just switched to the stock from the other ones. I was like, all right, KSCP looks good. Uh, it looks like the volume's coming in. It looks like the pattern's setting up, and it smokes me. Then it comes right back up. I mean, just to put sand in the wound, just to put salt in the wound, it comes right back up on this candle. So I could have got out break even, at least, and, and possibly even with some green. And I believe I tried to get in and this candle expecting this candle to rip. I don't think it did. I think I got chopped out, break even. I was able to catch this one. Now, I caught this one as this ripped, and I did make – I made all my losses back. I was like minus 50 on the stock. So I went from like minus 500, minus 600, and I got all the way back to break even. Now, looking back, I wish I would have just cut it there because at that point I was back green 300 bucks on the day, 400 bucks. Nothing major, but at least uh, green. Uh, I, I do some choppy scalps in here. I buy this one minute, I get chopped out, then I buy it again. See, the thing is I just kept getting scared because after I got spooked in this area, I already, it kind of ruined my, my bias on it. I no longer trusted it, even though it ended up doing what I thought. It ended up giving this nice rip, which I did catch.
But then when it came to this one minute pullback, I bought a, in the in a good spot. I'm not gonna lie. Looking back, I bought in a good spot. But it's just like from 907 down to 903, like these five 10 cent drops spook me out of my position because I'm expecting to get in and for it to immediately go green. So I get spooked out on five 10 cent losers. Then I get in too late, say for the pattern that I saw here, which was this one minute pullback. So the point is I should I should have had 22, 4,500 shares down at like 910. I should have been selling at, at the break of this pivot here at 923. I should that should have been a four hundred five hundred dollar win. Turns out to be not that great. I think maybe I get it up here, thinking we'll get a continuation and it drops. Volumes light here. It was just it was not a good day to try to milk this one. It gave a it gave an attempt here to go green. I think I got I got smoked there. Came here for a double bottom. Now I was in for this. I believe. Uh, let me see. Either way, I did not trade it well, and it really wasn't that great to trade. So yeah, it looks like I did buy forty five hundred at nine sixteen, and I don't know. Is that my word? How come on? So is that true? I bought. I bought forty five hundred at nine sixteen. And then I sold it for a five cent loss. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It looks like that's exactly what happened. Sold it for from nine seventeen down to nine eleven. So six cents on forty five hundred shares. As you can imagine, how much is that? That's that's about two hundred over two hundred bucks. To so that that's not the single trade that screwed me over, but it definitely. And I'm trying to look here. I'm just. Trying to figure out where things went wrong. It, and early on in the day, I, it was already looking not good. So really, and, the, and my last trade was right here. This one I lost 100 bucks on. It was my last attempt to buy this this breakdown here. Catch a, I was hoping to catch a big uh, bottoming tail. I, I was hoping it was going to get bought up because that's what the stock has been doing these past few days is, is getting bought up quickly and then ripping. In this case, it didn't get bought up quickly. It gave a lot of indecision. It was, it was, it got to support here and held, but not with a lot of conviction, not with a lot of volume. Gave a little, a little burst here. I could have got back out of this trade break even or green, but I was, I was already out. I took the loss, took the hundred bucks. I had people talking to me that were from out of state family and stuff, and they were curious about day trading. So it was just a great day to shut down early. I should have shut down when I was uh, down a couple hundred bucks. I, I was down like two hundred bucks. I was like, yeah, you know, it'd be it'd be the it'd be the wise thing to shut down here. And I I had that feeling of this this it'd be awfully wise to walk now. And it would have been, but luckily I did walk eventually down seven fifty. Uh, as you can tell, I'm a little. A little down but I'm trying to you know look at the bright side it's not a super big loss it's it's yeah so last week I had a twenty two hundred dollar loss before that uh, first week of the month I had a thirty five hundred dollar loss so this is this is not a big deal I can have a lot of days where I lose 750 bucks and it's not gonna it's not gonna ruin me now if I have a lot of days where I lose thirty five hundred dollars that's gonna ruin me so Really, I should I should embrace these small red days. I should be happy about them, and that would be the wise thing to do. Because if you get unhappy with these small red days, then you're gonna start rolling into bigger red days. And I that's the path I ended up taking last year, and now I'm coming back to my roots of discipline, 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 and I'm hoping that leads to uh, more profits at the end of the year, which. I know it will if I if I stick to my rules. So I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to go. I'm going to go start my day, get out of here, and forget about all this junk. And um, we'll, I'll be back at it tomorrow. So take it easy.